Hi everyone, back with another short video. If you've been following along, you kind of know how to display sprites and backgrounds, but I found out some things recently that I thought you could only do on the Game Boy Color, but actually you can do on all the Game Boys, so I wanted to share them with you. So those two things are sprite flipping, which a lot of you have asked me about, and I've said that you can't do on the Game Boy, but I'm wrong, so I want to show you that. And the other one is around background priorities, and that's a really little neat trick that I've seen in a couple of games recently, and I just thought, how did they do that? I didn't think you could do that. So I want to show you two examples of those so that you can use them in your game. Let's go and have a look at the code. So I've created a simple demo we can play with to demonstrate the two things I'm going to show you today with sprites. So the first thing I've done is I've created a background tile set. This just has four tiles, so an empty tile, tile with a line at the top, line at the bottom, and this kind of checkered tile. And with that in the uh, Game Boy Map Builder, I've drawn the background map with a kind of road with something like a bridge kind of drawn in it. If you don't know what on earth these tools are and what I'm talking about, you need to go and look at the earlier tutorials where I show you how to load in sprites and backgrounds, things like that. So I'm assuming you're familiar with those tutorials. So that's the background sorted. Uh, the sprite for the foreground, I've just got one sprite, this little snail sprite, and he's in position zero in the sprites. So I've exported both of those into a project. Here we go. So just like we would normally have, I'm loading the background data and the background map, loading in the sprite data, and I've created five sprites from zero to four, all with the same um, zero index sprite, which is that snail. And then I've moved them all to different positions on the screen, shown the sprite, shown the background, and got a little while loop. So if we build that, and then look in the emulator, that will look like this, where we've got four down the bottom here, and one here kind of sitting on the road. So that's the basics for what I'm going to show you. Now I'm going to show you how to do different things to these different sprites. So for all of these, we're going to use a property we've not used. For all of these, we're going to use a method we haven't used before, which is called set, set sprite prop. Now for its first argument, it expects the number of the sprites. So we're going to start by changing the sprite in sprite slot one, so that's the second sprite. And we're going to flip it in the x direction. So there's actually a built-in constant for this. So we do s underscore flip x. There we go. That will flip that that way. Now we want to change the second sprite and we're going to flip that in the y direction. With the third sprite, I want to flip it in both directions, the y direction and the x direction. And the way we do that is we use a binary or, that's what that or means. This is used in lots of things in C, but it means or, and we're, add, we're oring together two binaries. So that would be S flip Y. If that doesn't make sense to you, go and have a quick read about binary um, maths. It's binary ors and ands, and it will make a bit more sense. But basically it merges together the two binary numbers that these constants represent. So that's one, two, and three. That's the second, third, and fourth sprite we've got on the screen and we're flipping the X, the Y, and both of them. So let's have a look and see what that does. So if we reload that, okay. Now you can see we've got the original sprite that's not touched. We've got the one looking to the left, so it's been flipped horizontally, one that's been flipped vertically, and one that's been flipped horizontally and vertically. So what you can use this for is if you've got a single character maybe walking around the screen and you want him to look left or look right, you just flip the sprite. You don't need two versions of the character. And that's something I didn't know before I started playing with this. And you can use it for all kinds of different things. It basically saves you having to have too many sprites and too much in memory. You can just flip them around as you're doing them. And you can actually flip a single sprite backwards and forwards. So you don't even need to change the sprite that you're using. You can just flip it. So that's the first trick. It's pretty straightforward. The second trick is even more crazy that I've not realized you could do. So let's go and have a look at that. So this trick uses set sprite prop again. And we're going to do it to the fourth, or sprite four, which is the fifth sprite. And we're going to do S underscore again. There's a built-in constant for this, and it's priority. We're going to turn the priority on. And what that does is it chooses where that sprite renders whether it's above or below the background layer. So if we make that and then load this in, for the moment you're not going to notice any different because 
the background layer in the area it is has just got a transparent color in. What we need to do is to get it under here. So what we're gonna do is just make it movable like we've done in previous uh, kind of demos. So I'm just gonna kind of copy and paste this code in. You'd have seen it before when we've used it for moving sprites. But it's basically using the joypad. So in each while loop, it's going to look in the joypad and if it's going to the left, it will scroll my fourth sprite here, uh, one to the left. If it's going to the right, it will do it one to the right. If it's going up, it will do one up. If it's going down, it will go one down. So we're gonna do that. We also need to put a little delay in. If you've seen the previous tutorials, I advise you use this performance delay rather than the delay that's built into GBDK. It seems to cause less CPU kind of spikes. Uh, someone clued me up to that a long while ago and we've been using it in the demos. So we're just gonna do at the end of that loop so it doesn't move too fast, uh, performance delay, and we're gonna want a delay of two. Okay, let's build that. And reload. So now my little character can move up and down, left and right. But watch this, this is great. When he goes under the kind of hatched area, we can see through the hatched area where it's using the transparent background color. So we can actually see the character underneath it. So I've seen this used actually um, in a Game Boy Color game, in a racing game. And I just didn't know how it was done at the time and, and actually we had a chance to ask the developer and he kind of talked about what this is. So it's really, really easy to do. You could use it for all kinds of things. I haven't kind of figured out what it might do, but it'd be quite fun in some of your levels to have a sprite that suddenly can go behind things and in front of things. And again, you can flip that priority whenever you like. So you can have an event that flips it and turns it on or off. Um, so it's a really helpful little thing there. So I just want to show you a bit more of that bit maths to understand how we might actually turn that on and off and how we could set any of these properties on and off. So what we're going to do is as well as his S priority, we're going to flip it in the X direction. So now the snail will be flipped in the X direction and he'll be behind the background. So let's load that up again. So he's flipped the other way and he goes behind the background, that's great. But what I want to show you is how you'd cancel that out. So how, if an event happened and you wanted to put the priority back so it's on top of it, how you do that. So we're gonna do that uh, when we press the up key basically. So we're gonna use set sprite prop again for sprite four. But now we're actually gonna go and get the current sprite property for this sprite. So we use get sprite prop for sprite four, that will go and get it. And then we're going to do um, a bit more bit maths to change the value there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna and it together and we're gonna and it with the opposite, the not value, which is this little character here of S priority. So this means it will get the current value, which has got S priority and S flip, and it will leave S flip alone and it will just set what's currently a one for S priority to a zero. And if we finish that off. So now when we press the up key, it should keep the flipped X, but it should change the priority so it goes in front. So let's try that. So there's our snail, moves behind and he's also flipped. And if I press the up key, yeah, he pings in front and now he's in front of that. So that's how you can kind of flip them on and off whenever you want to. So hopefully that was a nice short demo there, relatively straightforward to understand. I thought it was really interesting because as I said, these are things I didn't think you could actually do on the normal Game Boy and the Game Boy Pocket. I thought you could only do them on the color. So it'd be interesting to see what I use these for in my games. That's all for now. Please go and hit that subscribe so we make sure you don't miss any videos and please comment and ask any questions you've got. But that's all for now. See you later.